Hello, North America, and welcome to another segment of the VIP Business Talk Show. I'm Don Emilio Zeno, your host, and my co-host, Joanne Serpone. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Don. Good morning, everyone, this morning. So how you all doing? I guess, uh, folks, just to make you aware that uh, we're going to do another uh, five segments here on the VIP Business Talk Show for VIP Internet TV, and then we're going to be taking a two-month sabbatical. That's right, folks. We're going to be out on, on the blackboard trying to reinvent ourselves for 2013. And that goes for radio as well, as well. And you'll be able to listen to all of our archives. God knows we have a lot of archives yes, we do. on radio and now on Internet TV. And uh, I encourage you, especially during the holiday months, to give us a good listen. I think you'll like our style because we make a business... Uh, Mm, reporting most easy for the general audience. Now today's uh, segment has to do with uh, uh, with. Uh, geez, am I, do you ever get a mind blank? <laughs> Is that we get? You ever get that yeah, mind yes blank? Yes, we do. It yeah, it happens, do. and it doesn't get any better. It's Live, like the computers. They yeah, 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 yeah. Look, recharge, overload and overload. et cetera, et cetera. Like, yeah. It's really, here it is, talking about bad, it's how to get rid of bad habits in business. Joanne, what do you think I mean by bad habits in business? You well, it's things that we turn around and, uh, you know, maybe do over the years without realizing exactly uh, uh, that we picked up these habits and we never consciously have a look at uh, our operations. And these kind of uh, habits maybe delay productions, delay certain things, and uh, if we don't have a look at it, uh, they've acquired over the years. You Could know? you name me one bad habit? Because God knows I've got many. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I haven't been able to see one bad habit with you. Oh, so. you're so sweet. No, but there, in business. There is, uh, no, there is bad what, habits. What, what, name me one, one that... One bad habit is like sometimes, um, I don't know, if let's say, for example, uh, you're... Um, you're in an industry and you've got um, this client that you've been working with for years and uh, therefore you turn around and you trust them and you don't realize that sometimes like like uh, because you're working with him and you're not consciously looking at exactly what's going on and like what happens sometimes is uh, he'll uh, maybe place an order he'll place a small order he'll pay you right away and then maybe he'll place a larger order and then he'll make you wait mm. and because you've been dealing with this client for such a long time you don't really consciously look at the history of the way the orders have been placed and the way the payments uh, come in which after in turn it maybe start causing you some cash flow stresses hold that and, thought you know, hold that thought hold no that no thought. just hold, hold that, that thought, thought. <laughs> i understand what she means and i interpret yeah. that bad habit as letting your guards down Ooh, in military yeah. military warfare you never let your gun down because that's when the enemy strikes and in business, you can correlate the same thing. Yeah, you yeah, let your guards good. down because um, you're becoming somewhat of a business friendship that's building yeah, exactly. up. But you can be afraid to remind the person. It's nice to be friends, but you know I have very strict principles. Exactly. You know you have to pay me now and not when you feel like it, because then when push comes to shove. You know, you get it up and around the corner at warp speed and it hurts, you know, <laughs> you know, the famous uh, yeah, exactly. get screwed. Yeah, that's one bad habit. That's I, funny. It's like, and we we don't consciously really notice it, but it. Uh, but then when we stop to have a look and uh, we go look at the history of some of these clients, they're good clients, mm -hmm. and we don't have to say anything to the client, but we just have to be more of a vigilant on it and maybe be on top of it. So this way, now that we've noticed that this process is happening if we're on top of the process then what happens is that you know in turn we like the client slowly slowly makes us wait well we make our calls a little earlier and uh, we'll collect a little faster other bad habits that I can think of are well I can think of yeah, one oh, would you oh, like oh, yeah while sure. you think of yours I'm gonna yeah, think of let's mine share here one this bad morning. yeah <laughs> one bad habit is that and I've been saying it for years and I'm guilty of that too is that when you're doing well, for example, uh, you kind of get lazy. And it's in all oh, of us. You yeah. get lazy. You get lazy and then that bad habit of not wanting to contact new people for business is going to make you go into a slump. 
you know, a sales yeah, slump. Because let's face true. it, sales is the most important aspect of any business. If sales are not coming in, forget about it. You know, you can be on an austerity oh, program. You're, 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 you you're leading to bankruptcy and you know a thing or two oh, about bankruptcy. So you got to get those sales to come in, whether in your in advertising sales, you know, B2B, B2C, whatever the case may be. And therefore, you need to find ways of constantly contacting people. Now, if you cannot contact people because you're shy, then because that is, even though it works against what we are here, advertising sales, good old telephone, sending a letter and then calling up, mm -hmm. Joanne, I'd like to talk to you about ways and how you can increase your business vision, etc. Yeah, yeah. Is this a good time? Can we meet? Can we talk about it? And so on and so forth. And if you don't do that, you're not, your business is not going to work. Trust me on that. Well, I have living experience, actually, myself. Uh, you know, when I started early in my career mm -hmm. as a sole practitioner, what happens is at a certain point, uh, maybe it was two or three years that I was in business, and, you know, the word of mouth was working out fine, and I was doing whatever regular advertising I was doing was working out. And, I, and it was amazing because it was like even a little bit of a conscious decision that I made, like you're saying. So in times of good, things are going well. Yeah, who I needs know, it? You know, let me... It's Turn like I'm, 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 feel, I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm not going to take that high blood pressure pill. And when you least expect it, it can, you know, strike. Exactly. You know, yeah. And I yeah. remember consciously making the decision saying, well, things are good. I want to turn around and relax a little bit on the advertising. And I could not believe it. I, it was unbelievable. Within six months, all my numbers had dropped everywhere. Yeah, all my know. branches, everything. Everything had literally dropped within six months. And you think that because like you have a certain um, product out there, that the kind of the product will well, always sell itself. Don't worry about it. But it doesn't sell itself. It really always got to be on top of your marketing you, you gotta and advertising. You got to keep getting new yeah. business, attracting yeah. new business. Now, whether you do it yourself, whether you hire people yeah. to do it, whether you, you, know, you, you call it advertising and there's a million ways to advertise. Yeah. Yeah, you need sure. all of those tools. Otherwise, your airplane starts going down when you <laughs> reduce the speed. And it's a and yeah. So, but if you catch it, it goes right back. Right, up. <laughs> right. So, so basically, one of the bad habits is that you kind of get lazy as you've been in the business for a long time. For sure. And you say, well, I'm really not in the mood to call people. You know, I'm hoping that. But look, but if you don't just come to me. Yeah, but it, but but yeah. you know, the reality is is that picking up the phone and calling people is one of the cheapest way. And I again, I shouldn't be saying this because I'm in the advertising business yeah. and you know, we're here to sell advertising, be it on radio or TV. But the fact is picking up the phone, if you're not ready to call at least two new people a week, two, two, you know, like really well, yeah. two and study the case, you're not gonna make it, get out of business. And this is what I'm saying, go and work for somebody else, Follow the orders. Put your pride aside, and believe me, you're you're gonna be live happily ever after. Yeah, for sure. You know, God. and too yeah. many people are in business, don't know what they're doing. They're full of bad habits, and it's like poison. And and that's the part that really bothers guys like me, because oh, I'm sure. a veteran in business, and so are you. Well, what happens in another bad habits that yeah. I've noticed too, and and we've uh, kind of, and it's important for operations. It's like uh, humans, we're, we're a bit of creatures of habits. So what mm -hmm. happens is, let's say we, we have, uh, I'll use the example of manufacturing because it's like an easy uh, more to associate what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say. But let's say we have, uh, you know, we're in a manufacturing company, we have, uh, you know, various production lines and we have our uh, controls and we have our... Uh, all the people in the different posts of our operations. Checks and balances. Uh, checks and balances. Now what happens is like uh, humans, after a while, we turn around and like, if we're in a certain position for a certain amount of time, we have a tendency, I don't know how it happens, but along the road, we skip one of the processes that we were always given instruction to do. And next, next thing you know, one of the uh, processes that the um, administration had put in place is not there anymore. Administration thinks that everything is running according to their instructions. Bad habits. We don't do periodic checks of the and balances of uh, steps that we have put into operations. 
And that is something that's very difficult, but every once in a while, and, and myself too, uh, it's, uh, it's something that I hate to do. For example, oh, you, you've got a team that's working there for a long time. And then every single time that you do stop to actually go have a look, well, you go and notice that one of your procedures somehow is not there any longer. And nobody knows how it stopped, but it's just stopped. So it's so uh, we as business people, we are creatures of habits and we do have to take our time and review our operations. And one last, but I'm being hailed here that uh, we're at the end of our segment. Wow. One of the thing, you know, in the X-Files, they say, trust no one. <laughs> the truth is out there. Believe me, trust no one. When it comes and when it comes to business, always in writing. And that's what we're going to be talking about on our next segment. So, folks, wherever you may be across the world at this point, we want you to help us spread the word to your family and friends, and especially business friends, that VIP Business Talk Show is now on VIP Internet TV. We started off on radio five years ago. So you'll probably end up liking us. And uh, believe me, Joanne's a smart lady. That's why she's my partner here. And uh, be joining us until then. We want to wish you all the best in health and in wealth. God bless you. Until next time. Bye -bye.